I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut the get a wee so I know what it says, so I don't make a mistake. I think the ch most challenging part of it all is just keeping track of my time and knowing where I am and trying to be organised with it. I've actually heard it quite a lot, like, oh, he's changed, but there's no one's changing. It's just like their time's more valuable now and they just need to get things done and move on because they need to perform at the highest level and do the best for them. Where, where am I looking? Oh. Just say, you let, there's no, no right. Just say, here's why. Here's why. Again? Take the at me, isn't it? At the end of the day, I think golf's so fickle that you just need to keep your head on and, and know that you still, you're still the same guy as you were before you were doing well and you still need to keep doing the same thing. So obviously you can just kind of treat yourself now and then and a little business class flight here and there is, goes a long way. Managing your time well, I think that's the hardest part. By Thursday you want to be ready and you want to feel fresh, um, but you also want to be prepared. So it's like finding the right balance of being ready by Thursday, but also having enough energy so you can focus all the way till Sunday. To the season is to get to the final. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm kind of um, learning all that stuff right now. Um, kind of see what works for me and then um, yeah, see where I end up on Sunday. Overall, just feeling kind of comfortable in my surroundings, having good plans in place, and uh, I feel like I've managed to take that in my stride, be pretty comfortable with that, and that's how I've managed to take it onto the course and play well. I'm not one for the camera so much. I try and keep a low profile and, and just do my thing. I, I don't mind mind doing it. I think it's it's good. I think it's it's good for people to kind of get a closer look at what we do and how everybody's journey is different. My goal was to just keep the card. Uh, it sounds simply, but uh, I haven't achieved that in the in the past. So that was the main goal for this season. Well, one of the highlights definitely was the US Open, which I was qualified for. I ended up in, in that same rough too often and I had no clue what to do. But the event itself was like huge and uh, I'm quite proud of myself that I qualified for that. I think what comes to mind first is probably the British Masters, leading that after two rounds and coming to the first tee. And I was watching the broadcast after the second round and they were talking about, oh, he's gonna be nervous today. And I was just laying there, I was like, I don't know, I feel pretty good. And then I walk to the first tee and there's like 10,000 people there and I'm like, okay, let's see what he's talking about. It's a bold play. I think I'd be hitting something with a bit more loft than a driver up this first. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously when Qatar was just like, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on! Come on. The way I just popped up and won out of kind of from a few shots back with fuels to play just took me by surprise. Oh my god, I actually cannot believe it. How am I a winner? Obviously, I've done that again a few months later in, in Northern Ireland. Just something you've worked for, for for all your life and then you get over the line, it's pretty incredible. I think there's quite a few of the goals that I set myself this year that I set myself again next season. Yeah, if I could have a season that is, is very similar to this, I'd be very happy. So, you know, there's, there's not much I, I would change. A couple of breaks here and there could have been a, a, a different season as well. So, yeah, I think I'm, I'm looking forward to next season and to see what, what's in store. Yeah, the putt came out exactly how I wanted to and I looked and I saw the ball was going towards the hole and then um, yeah, once I made it I obviously didn't even know where to go with my emotions, I was just so happy. And then I asked Ollie, my caddy, if we actually won now because I was so so in the zone um, and yeah, just over, over the moon to get my first win. Generally, I'm focused on getting better and the task at hand. Like that's not gonna miss too many fairways because it's just low. And if it's firm, 
it's even gonna run quite a ways. So I think really? if you can swing courageously despite your fears, uh, that's what sets you apart and ultimately leads to less fear over time. But the first time you're in a situation, you're gonna be nervous, aren't you? So I guess let my game do the talking, right? We're, we're all like that. We all do get nervous. It's how we handle those situations. Are we afraid of them? Do we wanna just get out of there? Or do we enjoy them and make the best out of them? I've played a high level consistently all year um, without managing to rack up the extra big points that you would do this week like you would in a major. I've worked so hard and, and performed well and managed to deal with the pressures of being a, a tour golfer. I uh, took my brother on the back early on the season. We decided to do that for the whole, whole year and see yeah, what comes out. The thing was, during the winter, we changed a couple things, uh, tried to yeah, step, uh, get the next step done. We both had been quite sure that it was the right way to go. We decided, okay, just accept the bad days, accept the bad results and keep going on. The results will turn around and yeah, I was quite lucky that it did. Sometimes you think golf is like the be all and end all of everything. And you know, it's actually just hitting a, a little white ball into a hole, you know. As soon as you kind of get into that mentality, it becomes a lot easier. I feel like, and, and you get out of your own way a little bit more. And I think that's mainly, for me, that has been the, the biggest change. Yeah, obviously winning always helps. When you win, you, you get more confidence. Try to learn and, and get better. And I want to, you know, play on the highest level. So um, yeah, really excited for what the future holds. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.